in this video, we're going to talk about different exercises to improve your upbow staccato. Stick around, you don't want to miss this. Hi there, my name is Eric and I'm a violinist. Thank you so much for stopping by this YouTube channel. I do a bunch of vlogs, I do a bunch of how-to tutorial on the violin and other violin YouTube videos. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notifications. It helps me a lot as a content to creator to provide more videos for you. Upbow staccato, I believe, is one of the most difficult bow techniques that you can do on the violin. It takes a lot of finessing, takes a lot of practice hours to be able to get a really good, reliable, and consistent upbow staccato. So in today, we're gonna to talk about how to practice upbow staccato and also some exercises that you can implement today at home after you watch this video. So different exercises for upbow staccato. Upbow staccato you can do in scales. You can pretty much do everything with scales. So I'm gonna demonstrate G major scale. I'm gonna do four ups and one down. So here we go. So I'll do. And as you work on each different string with this technique, you wanna make sure your elbow is at the proper height. Again, I explained to my students, the elbow is allowed to go up and down. It's never allowed to go left and right. And uh, if you try doing a, a left, a left elbow motion while doing an upper staccato, for me, it just simply doesn't work. So you can do four ups, one, two, three, four, down. So that's one, and you can do on E string. So practice that on open strings first. If you're working on a piece with upper staccato, uh, some of the Paganini caprices, uh, the Oro Staccato is a very famous piece with upbow staccato. Uh, do it slowly with an open string because that's going to help you a lot. And scales are the best way to go about this. And uh, start slowly and then work your way up. So I'm going to demonstrate a slower version. Then I'm going to do a little faster. Even faster. You can also do it on E string again. You want to make sure that you're gripping the string just a little bit when you do the up bow. So to kind of show you in a micro sense, it's it's this bite of the string that I'm always implementing. So I'll, I'll do it on the D string to demonstrate. And I'm actually doing a lot of work with my thumb and my index finger and it's doing this motion as if I'm like turning a door handle upwards. That's the kind of motion that I always try to go for. And it's as basic as that. And I'm not doing anything specific with my fingers. It's my fingers stay in a neutral position and all I'm doing is I'm just moving my wrist this way. So. And then it will get to a point where you don't have to over exaggerate this wrist motion. All you're gonna do is work on the thumb and the first finger and they're gonna be the, the driving uh, motion of that up staccato. So yeah, scales, great way to implement up staccato. And honestly, you could even use up staccatos in some of your etudes. You can, uh, I'm a big fan of Kreutzer. Kreutzer etudes are uh, really, really great. I'll leave an affiliate link down below to let you know what I'm talking about. And uh, like Kreutzer 2, for example, you can do You can do something along the lines of uh, or you can do all of them. You can do like four sixteenth notes in one bow if you want. Actually, I did more than I did more than four, but you get the point. You can apply up staccato in pretty much any sort of music that you feel like and start micro then uh, kind of expand the tempo, get the tempo a little faster, see if you can minimize the motion with your right wrist, and I think you'll be good. And I think that's, uh, it takes time, of course, that perfecting that motion is really, really crucial. And it's this kind of biting motion 
where you're really trying to bite the string as as you go up. And actually, coincidentally, when you bite the string, the bow naturally goes up. And I'm still implementing this motion with the with the right hand. And you know, I sometimes have my pinky on the bow. You don't really have to since you're trying to <laughs> trying to make it as easy for you as possible. So that's a personal preference. My last tip for upbow staccato is to practice with the metronome. I think it's pretty basic and it's pretty clear to say that you need to practice this technique with the metronome because you want to make sure that you're starting out with a good stroke, make sure you perfect the stroke, have a smaller, um, slower tempo. And then as you get more comfortable, add 10 more clicks to that. Then 10 more clicks to that, and then 10 more clicks to that. Then uh, once you know it, you'll be, you'll be pretty good in upbow staccato. Thanks for watching this YouTube tutorial on how to play upbow staccato. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit those bell notifications. Again, it helps me a lot as a content creator to help give you more violin videos, more violin resources for you. And also check out some of the links below um, to see what I'm up to with the violin podcast. All right, we'll see you next time.